Oh, the poll says, which CPU is the best upgrade deal for Zen 1 or 2 owners? $165, 94% uh, of you said the Ryzen 750 700X. Ding, 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 you would be correct. And 5% of you said 158 for the Ryzen 5 5600X. So 5% of our audience are being goober heads. Have no vision. <laughs> That's not vision, they're just trolling. They are. I'm, they just... nobody with any, nobody who actually understands what those are. The issue that we're discussing is, is this. Right now on Newegg, the 5700X is 165 and the 5600X is 158. Nobody in their right mind thinks the 5600X here is a good deal when this is 165. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Either you simply don't understand the situation, or you simply didn't even look at your options, or, or you just hate everything. I don't know what the answer is. This is, oh, this is the biggest no-brainer in the history of the universe. People have been saying that Amazon's selling the 5600X for 135 Well, and that's fine, and that's some... Yeah, I wouldn't care even at that price. No. But, well, okay, that's fine. But here's the problem. These are the 11th and 12th best-selling CPUs on Newegg yep. for the past 30 days. Newegg is selling almost as many 5600Xs for 158 as they are selling 5700Xs for 165 <laughs> This isn't a point of, oh, ha, ha, I found a bad price. No, it's... This is the best-selling list. <laughs> yep. They are right frickin' next to each other at number 11 and 12. Sure, yes, obviously you find it cheaper. You, buy, you know, The 5600X is fine if it's $99. Then I'd be interested. At 135 I still would say no. I'm going to say something here that's going to upset some people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Papa Deals is in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up because somebody mentioned it. Pay for it? Yeah, I'm not talking about this for a reason. I don't care. To line all my windows up. Line them up. You know what? Just for fun, what's a 5700X over on Amazon? Yeah, it's too much. It's 5800X. Yeah, you know what? That's fine too. All right. Starting on Amazon. The Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core 16 thread unlocked for 174. 61% off, usually 450. Ryzen 7 5700X for 165. 165. Or Ryzen 5 5600X on Amazon for 135. If you want to buy from Amazon, buy the 5800X. If you want to buy from Newegg, buy the 5700X. There is no difference between the 5700X and the 5800X. To which, of course, when I say that, somebody's going to say, but tech, the TDP is different. Yeah, good for the TDP. But doesn't that make a difference? No, it doesn't. Well, clearly it must. They, they, they wouldn't advertise it. That's for Dell and Acer to care about. Mm -hmm. Any decent motherboard, you know, you buy an Asus Tough Gaming B550, mm -hmm. it will ignore the CPU's TDP and run both of them at max boost anyway. Exactly. Once your motherboard ignores it, then they're exactly the same chip. I've tested both of those chips. They, they, they're identical. Um, I mean, there might be a 1% or 2% difference, but it's no, that, that's meaningless. If you care about that, that's, you, you're focused in the wrong spot. As far as the 5600X goes, at this price, it's not cheap enough to bother. It's six cores. Now... Inevitably, somebody's going to say, but but it costs less. Yes, it does. Yeah, but... It's $30. Yeah. 
This is 165. And by the way, this is technically a third party seller. It's Ant Online. Ant Online is an absolutely legit AMD authorized reseller. Mm -hmm. AMD will honor the warranty of a CPU through Ant. They are a serious, huge actual company. Um, so even though it's third party seller, it wouldn't even remotely slow me down to buy one from them. I have bought from them before. They're a huge seller. I think over on eBay, they've got like 300,000 feedback. They are wow. a massive company. Wow. So they, they are a legitimate AMD authorizer. So it doesn't, I don't care. But here's the thing. For 30 bucks, you get two more cores. Per core, they're basically identical. 30 bucks, don't brown. It's better than 100 bucks. This is where I'm going to say something that, that uh, some of you won't like. And this is Papa Deals talking. Come here. If you have $130 to buy a CPU to upgrade your system, but you don't think that you have $165 to upgrade your system, you are kidding yourself about having the $135. Mm -hmm. This is a place where you, you, you pull the couch cushions up and you find the extra $30 in the couch cushions. And if you legitimately, honestly, swear to God, do not have another $30 to your name and cannot come up with another $30. Good work. You have no business buying a CPU. Mm -hmm. You're broke. You are dead flat broke. Stop buying things you can't afford. The $30 here should be trivial to you or you should not buy anything. Stop spending money. Put money in the bank. The Hip Pocket <laughs> National Bank. Yep. This is one of those times where the $30 is trivial. You spend the 30 bucks, you get the eight core chip, and you move on. This is not that big a deal. Buy an Xbox, yeah. Or buy an Xbox, yeah. I mean, that's always an option as well, but of course they cost more, but I understand yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, and of course, they've sold 10,000 of these things. Wow. How many of these have they sold? 10,000. 10, they might, Someone's I don't know. Someone's buying them? Yeah. I wouldn't care what your use case is. This could uh, be for a basic office machine. This could be to upgrade my 79-year-old mother's email and Facebook machine. I don't care. She's getting an eight-core chip. Today? Yeah, with these prices. I, I don't care. I don't care if this is a, an email machine. I don't care if this is a 10-year-old's computer. I don't care if this is your third machine. I don't care if it's your NAS box. At these prices, in the grand scheme of things, with the lifespan of the machine and the fact that those two extra cores will be beneficial today, tomorrow, three years, at some future point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, here's the flip side. Somebody might say this. Let there me give a, a couple of counterpoints. There is a flip side. Somebody might say, but it really is for an ass machine. I need a new CPU for my AM4 motherboard, and it's going to be my third machine in the corner, and even a 5600X is overkill. I don't even need that, man. Why would I spend the extra 30 bucks when I don't even need this? That's a fair and valid point. Allow me to address that. Go buy yourself one of these. I absolutely acknowledge that there is a ultra budget market. The Ryzen 3 4100. Four, Four cores, cores, eight threads. If you lit if you if you're building an ass box and anything remotely modern and supported is sufficient. $67. And it comes with a cooler. 400 of them sold. So it's fine. If you say that even the 5600X is overkill, buy this. Buy that. The 5600X would really need to be 100 bucks. Maybe 110. Somewhere in the 100, 110. Then I'm interested. But you know what you probably can do? I'll bet you dollars to donuts. If we go to eBay, we 
What do you think you can buy a 5600X? 180? Really? 125? 125? Okay, that's stupid to buy a used one for that. What about a 5600? Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. 120. Wow. For a 5600G? No, blech. Sure, everybody. So on eBay, the Ryzen 5 5600G or well this the problem with this is it doesn't have um, no it doesn't okay so the 5600 for 110 plus shipping 120 oh, one tw oh, one that's stupid okay. that's what you said. used yeah this is a from china and b it doesn't have pc express gen 4 and it lacks half the cash yeah that's so true. no um so 4100 or 5700x yeah yeah now here's a real question Okay, that's a real question. What does Seth think of my opinion? Because, you know, at the end of the day, here's the kicker. I give you my opinion. You can disagree with me because it's your money and you can spend it any way you want. Um, I am your papa deals, but I'm not your daddy. You can do anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, we got one couple of questions. Ranger Smith says that my NAS has an i3-10100. It's perfectly sufficient. I agree with you. My video capture PC at the office has an i3-10100. I did a video about that build. Works fine. Now, if I sit down and heavily use that or do stuff on it and I open programs and a lot of Chrome tabs, I mean, I can find the boundary boxes of it. 95% of the time, even the i3-10100 is overkill for what that machine does. Yeah. So yes, that's perfectly reasonable. Spoon Hurler says that's a deal on the 4100, honestly. Yeah, $67 with a cooler. So. $129 is the historical low on the 5600X. I think Newegg has had it cheaper than that at one point, but I could be crazy. Maybe it was the 5600, not the 5600X. I'd never buy it for myself, but for ultra budget. I assume he means the Ryzen 3 4100. Mm. I rebuilt my NAS platform with the 4600G. The previous platform was FM2+. Plus. That's a nice upgrade. The FM2+, Plus was a kind of a low-end platform. 